Hall. <laughs> Welcome to Southern Cook and Made Simple, y'all. Today, I'm going to bring to you some delicious, very simple side dishes. Baked sweet potato fries. All I done was slice up some sweet potato wedges, rubbed them down in oil, salt, and pepper, put some seasonings on them, and baked them in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes, depending on the size of your wedges. They were delicious. The second thing is a cracker salad. Now, my grandma used to make a cracker salad. It's inexpensive, delicious, and it'll serve a ton of people. And it's a Southern traditional favorite. Everybody in the family loves cracker salad. A pea salad. A pea salad is something that Southern traditional and stick to the ribs comfort food people can drain peas, mayonnaise, boiled egg, any kind of vegetables that you have in the crisper, chop them up and put them in your pea salad. I added a little bit of hot pepper in mine. It was delicious. Baked beans. Now, baked beans can either be done on top of the stove or you can put them in the oven for about 30 minutes. But I just baked mine for about 30 minutes on 350 and they were absolutely delicious. They have a hint of spice. The texture is perfect. Don't overcook your beans or they'll fall apart. They will absorb the tomato sauce and get thicker as they stand. Cucumber salad. A cucumber salad is something that we eat a lot of around here. My grandma used to put it on the table just about every Sunday. And it's something that as long as I've got cucumbers in the garden or in the crisper, I'm going to have cucumber salad. I ate almost this whole bowl of cucumber salad, people. It was delicious. I had to hide it from everybody else <laughs> in the house so I could eat it by myself. It was yummy. Now, this potato salad is made exactly the way my mother used to make it, and everybody used to ask her to bring the potato salad to all the uh, family gatherings or the uh, things that were going on at the church or summertime picnics. Mommy always brought the potato salad. Now, Hoppin' John's is a favorite in our house. It's simple, and it's another one of those things that you can clean out the refrigerator and cook dinner with all the leftovers in your fridge. If you have some leftover vegetables, corn, or whatever, throw it in there. It'll just feed your family on a shoestring. Now, the black-eyed peas have to be rinsed and drained. Uh, they have like a gummy texture on them. And make sure you get that off. And then after you put your black-eyed peas in, don't cook it very long or they'll fall apart. It's the side dishes, I think, that makes a southern traditional meal so delicious salmon cakes. Last night I stirred up a batch of salmon cakes. I just took a can of salmon and drained it. A half a cup of breadcrumbs, an egg, some chopped onion and some parsley, salt and pepper, and four tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of flour. And then I formed them into a patty and then I pressed those into panko breadcrumbs and then I fried them until they were crisp. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did. These side dishes are fantastic. This has been Southern Cooking Made Simple. Y'all come back now. Here.